Hello and welcome to this quick introduction to Opera simulation software from Dassault Systems. Opera has been in commercial development since 1984. In 2018, Opera joined Dassault Systems as part of the Simulia brand. Simulia comprises simulation software for different physics at different scales. Opera is part of the electromagnetics portfolio and in this presentation we'll look at its application to magnetron sputtering simulation. To try to outline magnetron sputtering in one slide, it's a physical vapor deposition technique in which a plasma in a chamber is used to generate ions that are accelerated towards a negative target ejecting material, which is then allowed to deposit on a workpiece or substrate as it's usually known. Low pressure is important in providing a good quality coating, but in the standard system results in low deposition rates and high production costs, hence the need for simulation. Before looking at the details of magnetron simulation, a quick word on our simulation package Opera. Opera is an electromagnetics led multi-physics simulation environment available in both 2D and 3D versions. It includes a fully featured geometry module for creating and preparing models for analysis, a range of finite element solvers for electromagnetics, space charge, thermal and stress analyses, and a post-processing module for the extraction and display of the simulation results. All types of analysis are compatible with Opera's built-in optimizer facility. Our Opera 3D space charge module uses a finite element method to model the emission and transport of continuous particle beams. Using a nonlinear iterative solution method, Opera generates a self-consistent solution for the electrostatic fields, space charge distribution, and emission current. Particle trajectories are computed under the influence of both electric fields and magnetic fields. These magnetic fields can be generated in a number of ways, from a simple applied uniform field, electromagnetic coils, to arbitrary field distributions imported from a magnetostatic, uh, magnetostatic analysis from, for example, uh, the Opera magnetostatic solver. As well as coupling to the magnetostatic solver module, the space charge module can also be used to perform multi-physics analyses with other Opera physics modules, such as the thermal solver. Although we refer to the Opera space charge solver, it should be noted that this solver is also capable of modeling neutral particles. Opera has for some time had the plasma free surface and volume emitters. The magnetron plasma emitter is something of a hybrid of the two and allows the efficient simulation of low density magnetized plasmas. It's been developed with a principal application in mind, magnetron sputtering simulation. So why do we want to simulate the magnetron? In general, for similar reasons to other devices. Magnetron sputtering is a complex process with performance dependent on a wide range of parameters. Simulation allows more rapid and less costly exploration of parameter space than does experiment and can provide insight that's not available from practical testing. Having performed the simulation, we can determine the full characteristics of the device, including electrostatic and magnetostatic potentials and fields, charge density, particle tracks, beam parameters and profiles, momenta, energy, current, and so on. These often used metrics from space charge simulations may be produced using the standard features of the Opera post-processor. We can also extract information more specific to this particular type of device. For example, target erosion profile, target utilization, and deposition profile. The main features are self-consistent magnetron plasma simulation. We can handle arbitrary geometry, electric and magnetic configurations. The software is fast. Um, it's not a PIC code, so execution times are relatively short. Something like this circular uh, examples shown will solve in around half an hour on a laptop. And it's efficient. The Opera Space Charge Solver is efficient in its use of memory, and this combined with short run times gives a possibility of simulating an entire coater. A small selection of the typical diagnostic results are shown here. The voltage may be displayed. Values both without and with the effective space charge are available. This, of course, is a necessary diagnostic when assessing the potential for voltage breakdown in the device. If we plot a voltage isosurface at the plasma and meniscus potential, itself an output from the simulation, we can visualize the meniscus and so judge the extent of the plasma in the device. Even without performing any space charge simulations, Opera has a great utility in the magnetic design of the magnetron, itself critical to achieving a good product. 
line data can also be produced as can parameter values on any of the structures in the model. Such results, of course, are a great general application, not specific to uh, magnetrons, and use standard post-processing features. The target erosion profile and utilization and the deposition profile are critical performance features. Magnetron targets can be extremely expensive. The target used for architectural glass coating, for example, might be several meters long and cost several hundred thousand pounds. It's vital to maximize the utilization both to reduce target costs and to reduce production downtime during replacement. The maximum depth of the erosion groove will determine target end of life, and so the erosion profile needs to be optimized. The flatter the profile is across the groove, and the more uniform it is around the groove, the better will be the utilization. Erosion profile may be observed directly from the flux of sputtered species from the target. As you can see, the model shown here is of a simple circular design. Thank you for joining us for this quick overview. Please don't hesitate to contact us for more information or check the DASO system or OPRA websites for further details.